Hello friends, how are you? Today we are going to see how we can use this HMI screen or this next gen HMI screen to control an LED or to control any appliances you want using Arduino. Okay, let me start. First of all, uh, you need to button on button and off button. No need to write anything or to make anything. I will provide you by both codes, Arduino code and next gen code. Okay, let me show you a little bit about my code and how I did the code. For example, save compile debug okay first of all this picture here and uh, this picture here indicates the states of the lamp for example if i press on off the lamps turned off and if, if i press on on the lamps is turned on is turned on and the number here also indicate the states of the lamp as you can see zero one zero one this is a simple code of course let me go back uh, inside the on button, I wrote p0.pick equals 0. And the on, on button, I wrote uh, the picture should be take the ID of the first picture. That's mean when I press on, the lamp should be turned on. And when I press off, pick p0.pick equal 1. That's mean replace this picture by the picture ID number 1. Replace this picture by the lamp, to, by the off lamp. Okay, also here, uh, I, I used uh, the lamp uh, variable, for example, this variable here. When the button pressed on, the variable is, lamp variable is equal to 1. When I press off, the variable is equal to 0. I use the variable here to read from Arduino. As you can see here, let me move to the Arduino code. Before I move, everything here clear. Uh, no need to write anything or to do anything. I will provide you by the HMI code and, and I will provide you by the Arduino code. Let me, before I move, show you the final debugging of this code. If I press on, zero, lamp turned off, on, lamp turned on, and the ID and the variable is equal to one. Okay, let me move to the Arduino code. Here, let me make the loop time for each 1000 okay first of all include the library easy next in library dot h my, my easy next my next serial lamp define lamp state equals 13 that's mean connect your uh, led or anything of, of course connect your led to the pin number 13 on your arduino and define the lamp here okay void set up uh, serial dot begin my next dot begin and the pin mode the define the lamp state that's mean pin number 13 as output and timer equal millis here i uh, this one if timer minus millis and this one uh, makes the code execute every one second not every one make microsecond or millisecond okay let me start if uh, first of all this two line here to read the state of the button that's mean when you move to when we move to the to the next hmi uh, for example when i press off and when I press on the, the code here, go to the next on HMI screen and read the states of the variable of this variable, as I told you, lamp variable. Let me stop. As I told you also, when I press on the lamp variable is equal to one. Okay, when I press one, uh, here, a digital write lamp state hide, and digital of uh, that's mean digital write uh, number 13 make number 13 as high as high uh, so as plus 5 volt and when i uh, i press on off button that's mean lamp variable equal 0 uh, make uh, lamp lamp state the num pin number 13 on the arduino as 0 volt and after that you can connect uh, on the pin number 13 and of course i will show you after that uh, that's uh, uh, on pin number 13 the LED should be connected uh, pin number 13 to the LED uh, to see the states on off on off okay as I told you no need to write anything I will provide you by the Arduino code and by the next in code print here lamp on and here I should print lamp off Okay, and now we are going to upload the code on the HMI screen. First of all, press save and compile your code. After that, press on file, TFT output, uh, and browse. Go to your destination file. For example, let me put it on, and you can put it on any destination you want. 
let me put it here okay let me put it here and after that press on output okay after that go to your the uh, to your file as you can see here hmi you should the, the file that you put on on the hmi screen you sh should contain hmi file it uh, should contain the name of the file here for example hmi file dot tft be attention the file should be contain dot tft after that right click on it and press copy Okay, and now let me show you how to connect the hardware part first of all connect the pin number 13 from your arduino to the positive side of the led after that led resistor 330 ohm connect the negative side to the ground of your arduino and after that uh, connect the tx from your arduino to the rx on the next edge of my screen and vice versa the tx rx and rx tx uh, TX from the next one HMI to the RX here and RX here to the TX of the next one. After that, you should power the next one HMI screen from here and don't forget to co to connect the ground command for between the two devices between the Arduino and the HMI screen. Okay, and now after ejecting your SD card, let me put it inside the HMI screen like this. Okay, and after that, turn on your HMI screen to let the code upload. Okay. as you can see update succeed turn off and remove your sd card from your hmi screen okay and now turn on your hmi screen and put your arduino on your laptop okay now arduino turned on Okay, as you can see here, if I press on, let me uh, reset the HMI screen. Okay, if I press on, the LED turned on. If I press off, the LED turned off, on, off, on, off. Okay, this is all about our video today. As, as I told you, you don't need to write anything. You can scroll down and download the HMI screen file and the Arduino file. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel to see our new upcoming project. And thank you for your watching.